Curly bobs are nothing new, but just so happens to be the latest trend. You guys have seen me do tree braids, goddess braids, or whatever it is you want to call them, but today we're adding a little shape to them, playing with some color, and testing out a few techniques. So if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful gray boho bob, make sure you stay tuned. prep for this project I'm using expressions braiding hair in the color 1b60 this is the 42 inch pre-stretch variety for the curly feed ends I'm using the free trust water wave curl in the color gray I'm gonna be using two packs of this in the 14 inch and I did go ahead and split the pieces into smaller ones if you're using the longer package I believe it's 28 inches you could get away with cutting that one in half this is the hair type we're working with today. It's really important to assess the hair type because it may change the way you approach the style. In this case, I can see her hair is blunt cut and super thick. So I know I may not need to feed in as much hair as I would a typical head. I'll need just enough to tuck her ends in comfortably. I also wanna make sure I'm using an underhand method to get a very tight tuck and curve on the end since we're doing a bob. I need to check her longest lengths to determine how short this bob can be. I'm also going to change up the type of products I'm using. Because her hair is so thick, I'm going to be using this edge wax to help smooth out her ends in addition to the usual shine and jam. I've also opted for C part or free parting so that the hair would lay naturally between each braid. For each braid, I'm going to do traditional tree braiding, where I feed in hair only when needed. If you guys remember from my past videos, tree braids are essentially a normal braid with small pieces of hair left out throughout the length. To add fullness around the head, I'm going to add curly pieces at the very top. So that curly piece will be my very first feed in. Then I'm going to feed in regular braiding hair until I'm comfortable with the thickness. I'm going to just braid on down and add in more curly pieces as needed. I definitely want to make sure I have enough hair added for the ends, the curly pieces, because we want the ends to be curly. When I get to the ends, I'm going to grab a small curly piece and slip knot it about four or five times around the braid. To keep it from unraveling, I'm going to fuse the knots with my travel flat iron. This is handy because it doesn't go above 350 degrees, which is just enough to melt the hair without burning it off. Remember, this only works with synthetic extensions. Don't try this on your real natural hair. If there are straight pieces of the braiding hair left at the ends, I'm gonna cut that right on off. Now, if you cut it off and the end looks a little bit blunt, just add a very small dab of nail glue for added security.
Now that we're all done, I'm going to mousse her up to define the curls and soften the braids since we can't dip this hair. Remember, hot water dipping curly hair will relax the curl. So all that's left to do is trim and shape up this look. The beauty of this style is the possibilities are literally endless, you guys. You can use any curl pattern you want. You can use any color combo you want. You can just go ham with it. So that's it for the completed look. As always, if you learned something new, make sure you share that with us in the comments below. Hi guys, I wanted to drop in real quick because if you made it to the end of this video, then you are the real OGs. You guys are the ride or dies. You guys are the ones who really made this channel happen. If you guys don't already know, this past weekend we hit a major milestone. We hit 100,000 subscribers. Yes, we did. And I must say this would not be possible without you guys. You guys definitely keep me motivated to keep doing these videos. Y'all know YouTube ain't easy, <laughs> but it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. I still appreciate all of the amazing pictures and videos and comments and testimonials you guys send me all the time. As a matter of fact, I got a buttload of them this past weekend. This weekend, I was pretty much in tears over everything. So I wanted to drop in real quick and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Without you guys, this none of this would be possible. I also wanted to ask you guys, I'm pretty sure I should be getting my play button hopefully by Christmas and I want to film a video. I don't know if I should do live because I haven't done live on YouTube yet um, or if I should just do an unboxing video. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Because at the end of the day, this is an accomplishment for all of us. So I want to share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is my 100th video also. So look at us just climbing mountains and making things happen. But anyways, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and join our wonderful positive family. And to all my OGs out there, I love you so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.